Okay, good morning, welcome uh, from Lahore. So I'm just uh, connected to you from uh, after, just after our Lahore White Lums Vice Chancellor Achievement Award, uh, Achievement Elevin Achievement Award uh, winning night last night. So I'm with me with a special guest, Asim. Welcome Thank to you our program. So can you introduce uh, yourself to my audience? Sure. First of all, uh, uh, thank you very much for hosting us here on your forum and uh, uh, all uh, the best wishes to the Sri Lankan uh, people on Fab Lanka, uh network there that you have created. Uh, it's been a pleasure and honor to be part of this cohort, uh, which I mean that yourself uh, has become part of as part of this whole um, VC uh, Alumni Achievement Awards at LAMS. Uh, it's great to come over all the way from Canada, just like you came from Sri Lanka, and be part of this international community of people which are like-minded, uh, which believe in the same set of values and cherish all the kind of diversity, respect it at the same time, and have all the integrity and the resilience to carry forward all those goals that they set in their lives. I think that's what the LEMS has trained us for, that's what has brought the change not only in our personal lives, but also in the society and the communities okay. wherever we go. Right, so so uh, quick uh, background on your like up to now what you have been doing from Pakistan and both. Sure, uh, been 20 years now uh, and over actually now, 22 time flies um, and counting, but been 22, 20, 21 years of that has been in Canada. And uh, I've been working through the letter, first off in corporate letter, uh, been, I did a, uh, MNC gig in Karachi, worked with Hexa Germany, reporting to the country, had on a strategic project, then left for Canada, had gotten immigration, and then uh, along with the family, been living there, and uh, was part of the biggest telecom company called Bell Canada there. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a director in that capacity, have served many years, and then after that, I started my own venture, and uh, that's where the life uh, really started taking interesting uh, uh, pace and turns. Um, we set up a real estate company to begin with, which was actually my love affair and passion uh, before I left this country. And then uh, taking that passion and all the discipline the Lums had taught us, uh, this particular uh, venture, as I call it, entrepreneur, uh, it was like growth on steroids, I call it. Uh, in three years' time, we became all, out of all the brokerages and the teams there under, which were 60,000 in Canada, uh, we became number one. And then we were there for five years in a row. And that was uh, one of those miracles, as you call it, like uh, the entrepreneurship uh, in that particular territory. But I give credit to all the discipline, all the work ethics and the values that we are taught here uh, in this institution and even at home. And I think that's what we carry forward wherever we go in the world. And that's what I was trying to allude to. After that, I went into social enterprise. I even um, was sitting on the board of a hospital foundation there, trying to do fundraisings and uh, helping them with other strategic goals. Uh, in addition to it, uh, our company was even like named the business uh, of the year. We won the award there. Uh, I won out of 60,000 realtors uh, the uh, community service award from Toronto Real Estate Board as part of the like social contributions. Uh, then we, I went into a political arena. Uh, while Justin Trudeau was looking for in 2015 to form a team um, to get the Liberal government back in that country, uh, I became uh, fortunately part of that thanks to all the support that I got from my community and the people in the French there and your, your prayers here. Uh, I was actually named the first candidate in my constituency. Uh, because this was a new constituency where I lived, is Milton Riding. I became the first federal liberal candidate to contest for member of parliament under the Liberal Party's umbrella there. Uh, we came almost just 2,000 votes shy, but uh, obviously we prepared the platform and to make this riding red because it's been a conservative cause for many, many years. And I was up against this deputy leader of the Conservative Party. That was a big turn of events there, which we created based on all the hard work and effort that we were putting in, in that particular community. After that, uh, I mean, it's still part of that community in many of those aspects, if you will. I'm making those contributions. Uh, I always believe in fact, somebody told me once who endorsed me was a senator there in Canada. Uh, he, he said like, uh, keep doing the small things uh, and the big things are gonna come along the way. And that's the life uh, mantra I live by. You shouldn't be waiting for big things to come to achieve those milestones. You make those simple, normal strides, take those actions, be action-oriented, and you're going to make the difference in your own lives as well as in, this, in the community and the society. Okay, right. So, and I'm listening to you, I can forget the time, but uh, sure. Iran, last, last question. So just just after the, the award, uh, the new award, and the, you are the first one I'm interviewing, so thank you. Any last word about the award and about now? I mean, award itself is, I think, uh, more about, the best thing I like about it, to bring that connection back uh, within the lungs as well as the alumni, uh, reconnect the community, make it as a community that it, it should be, as anywhere in any other organization. 
And these uh, individuals, when they come together, uh, you know what, you feel like you have that common uh, glue. And that common glue is all those values that we have been keep talking about. Uh, it is a good refresher and reminder that each and every one of us, well, I mean, we've been away from this particular institution, have been having similar experiences, uh, making the difference more so in the communities and societies in the biggest way possible. And I hope like uh, getting all those people, like-minded people together to this initiative uh, gives that strength and belief and again makes it like as a tribe to go after initiatives form is a, an immense team which can achieve even bigger goals and, uh, and be the friends forever moving forward. And the ripple effect that is going to go out of this particular recognition is not only going to be the ego stroke that we get as a person, but also the initiatives just like we were discussing about now that we're going to undertake and then we're going to be having the ripple effect in the society. And that's the intent, I would say, to make the difference not only for this institution, but in the society, and that's been the founding father's dream, and we're trying to enable it here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. much. All the best to you as well. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. Sir. Excellent. It's okay.